Okay, so we have the Air Perch Fusion Gun. Today, uh, we're gonna start with a little daily maintenance that you might perform, or if you have a small crossover in your mix chamber without totally disassembling the gun, we're gonna get it back in working shape for you. So what I wanna be able to do is clean the mix chamber without exposing the internals. Uh, we also wanna make sure everything's flushed out and clean uh, before we get into this gun. So all we're gonna do is we're going to push the mix chamber forward far enough to access the impingement ports. So the side seal in the mix chamber is still intact and I'm not leaking fluid there. So now I can gain access to the mix chamber to do any clean out. This is a clean out tool. This is an AR2929 mix chamber. The difference between the two smaller mix chambers and the bigger mix chamber, it has a counter bore and a final port. Some of the bigger mix chambers have only a single port going through. So what we can do is then we can drill out that mix chamber. We didn't expose anything to air. Notice that the mix chamber is keyed with a machine half moon. That's to designate the A side of the mix chamber. We don't want to be mixing the A and the B. You can see that the head is clearly labeled A or in this case, A not, or what I call B. So we want to mix, not mix the A and B materials. You can see that the piston and the mix chamber are keyed. So we just start it and we have to line up the tabs and the gun. So from here, we can make sure that our safety is on, attach our air, turn on air, we can start to purge air. And what we want to do is just Open the grease dessert cap, and we're going to give it one or two squirts of the ice of grease, and we just want it to mist out of there. We don't want to pack that mix chamber with grease. Two shots. Turn off air. Return the cap. Safety's on. That's a quick clean your mix chamber out, whether you're in your trailer or you're still anticipating spraying. Now, if I have more of a major crossover because I've had concerns or issues with my proportioner, then we can do a full tear down of this gun. 